Charmin, talk about getting back out there and running around again. How much fun is it for you after going through the intense rehab? Um, it's, I just thank God, you know, the time I walk out of the locker room, you know, because a lot of people counted me out. You know, and even myself at one point, you know, when it first happened, but, you know, to be back out there, you know, with some of the guys that I'm closest to and, and be doing what I love, it's, it's just a great feeling. A lot of fun. You look like you're backpedaling and pivoting well with no problems. You know, one day through shells, it feels as good as you know. Oh yeah, definitely does. You know, I, I hadn't expect, I didn't expect it to feel this good. You know, but you know, I was talking to to Clark, you know, and I, man, you know, I think I, I might be better than when I when I was healthy. You know, so I, I feel good. You know, keep icing and keep rehabbing and just pray that I make it through the season healthy. Chris, talk about playing Nickelback. Those part things said you've been working some there. How different is that? Uh. It's not that different to me, you know. Once once I got the scheme and understand that what I had to do, I had got it down. But you know, I still got a lot of work to do at it to be the way I want to be at it, like good at it. So I think it's a good opportunity for me. What, what what's different about playing nickel? I mean, what's I guess the toughest transition to moving inside like that? Sorry, yeah. you've done it. <laughs> um, I say probably just uh, getting in the running gaps when, when you need it. You know, corner you, you know you might have to show up on the outside if you know if the safety gets cracked. But a nickel you might be needing the A gap, B gap, you know, or the C gap. So I think I think that's the biggest difference. You definitely uh, got to be more physical when you got nickel. Chris, you got, how, how different are you as a player this fall than? I mean, obviously, you're talking about growth and maturity. How, how different do you feel this fall than you had the first couple of years? Uh, Coach e has always told me I, I came a million miles. Like, and I feel the same. Like, I think, like, over the past two years since I've been here, I ain't got way better, way better. And I, I know I got a lot of work to do, and I'm just going to keep trying to get better each and every day. What's the, what's the biggest thing you feel like you've improved on? Uh... I know I still got a lot of improvement to uh, do in each and every area aspect on the game, so I really can't just point out a single thing. Chris, do you think you'll be a nickel for the most part this year? Yes, sir. Okay. You know, you were shaking your head a little bit. What's the biggest part of Chris's game? I say, I say he matured. He's matured a lot. You know, and, and he's a leader out there now. You know, guys respect him because they know he's tough. You know, he's going to give 110% of every play. You know, and, and anytime you look on the film, you know, pretty much like 95% of the time, 11's going to be lined up right and he's going to be doing the right thing. So he, he's come a long way. And, you know, I tell him that all the time, man, he's so much different than when he first got here. You know, I'm, I'm proud of him. Chris, are you doing it from the standpoint of, I mean, do you, are you playing corner and then moving the nickel if you go to five, or are you just playing nickel first? I'm playing corner then moving the nickel. How, how big was the, the bowl game for you to have a kind of a breakout game like that and perform like you did? You know, it was it was a, a big game for me, and I just see it as like now I got to pick it pick it up pick up where I left off at. You know, uh, we start back in the Georgia Dome, so hopefully I can pick up where I left off. At. So, Sharp, you feel like you got to win the job again? Oh yeah, no doubt. You know, I'm out there competing every day. You know, and coach tell me get what you earn, so you know I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know, he said cream rise to the top, so let's see what happens. How different is it to, to be out there now? And there's, I mean, there's guys all over the field. I mean, you got defensive backs everywhere. I mean, there's there's a lot of a lot of depth and a lot of guys competing out there. Um, it, it's different and it's good. You know, I think competition brings you know the best out of you. You know, so I'm, I'm not gonna hold back something that I know from another guy. You know, just because I wanna. You know, I'm a team player, so I'm gonna tell him everything I know. You know, I'm not gonna hold anything back from. Him. Cause I want him to compete, you know, and I'm going. I know that I'm going to compete, so I want to bring the best out of him as well. You know, the best guy win the job, and, and and he'll know, and I know if it's not me or him, you know, I'm going to be behind him. He's going to be behind me. I thought they announced that Sammy Watkins is not going to play against you guys. Is that good news? Oh, uh, why you tell me that? Uh, we want him to play, you know, cause you know, you know, you just want the best players on the field. You know, you want to compete against the best players. You know, that's why we come to the Auburn and come to the SEC to play against the best players. So I'm pretty upset that you just told me that.
And we not playing that game just to play against one single player. Right. You know, we ain't scheming for one single player. We scheming as a whole. So either he play or he don't, you say he don't, it, it don't mean nothing. This situation happened way back in the day. It's been a few months now. During the summer, do you guys pay attention to it at all? To what situation? Same problems. No, we we really didn't pay attention to that at all. We just worked on what we need to get better at as a team and as a group. So we didn't we didn't pay attention to that at all. Christian, we, we don't talk to you very often. Uh, just last season, you started out playing really, really well. It seemed like you got hurt. I want to say against Clemson, maybe, or mm -hmm. in that area. And then you kind of had a lull there, and then you played really well at the end. Just talk about that injury and just kind of that season, looking oh. back on that season. Uh, from the injury, I, I got a little frustrated. Down, I felt a little down and out by myself. Then, you know, I, I told myself I needed to pick up my level of play. And I knew I wasn't doing as well that I supposed to, supposed to do. So at the bowl game, I guess it all just came out of me. I had a good game, and hopefully I can continue that level of play. So for you, I'm, I'm sorry, one more. The bowl game was just kind of a mental thing where you were just like, you're physically fine now, I got to go out there and play the way I know I can play. Is that, that kind of how, because yeah, you were a monster that game. and. I mean, what got you started? Uh, I just said, I was just out there having fun. That's, that's all I can like say. Were you getting bogged down before that, maybe? Like uh, in the Georgia and Alabama games? Just... No, I can't. I can't. I can't tell you. 